So, we're back with another segment, Royal Family of Ask the Queen. And right now I have a subscriber who is in a rough situation with trying to not even be an adult, but like, you know, be the bigger person. Um, her son's father and her, they get along fine, but his other son's mother, his other baby mother, um, has a problem with one of my subscribers. And so she goes out of her way to um, put a rift between the two sons' relationship and to cause problems, like, and make things just not cohesive with the dad and the subscriber that I have. And I think when it comes to baby mama drama and baby daddy drama and parental drama over kids is a lot of stuff has to be put to the side for the kid. That is not about you. It's about your child. When you have a child, you give up you for that period. That's the cost because you had a child. Like, now everything you do is for them. It's not for you. And a lot of times when there's baby mama, baby daddy drama, it's because one of those adults is still in their feelings about the relationship and they're not trying to put their children first, which is the priority here. And sometimes they need to be reminded of that. And um, long term, the thing is that I try to keep in mind about my child and how I act is that he's a kid now. Yeah, that's true. But he's going to grow up, and he's going to ask me why I did certain things. Like, so unless I want to explain to him why I did some stupid shit, I don't do it. It's that simple. So, mom, why don't me and my brother have a relationship? I don't want to have to answer no dumbass question like that. That's your brother. You should have a relationship with your brother. I'm not going to stand in the way of that. So I won't. You know what I'm saying? It's that simple for me. It's not that simple for other parents. And it's a work of progress. No one's perfect. There's no playbook for children. Um, there's no playbook for dealing with someone forever. Because even if your child passes, the only people who are going to really know how you feel is that person's, uh, that person's other parent. It's a connection. It's a lifetime bond. It's a connection. And... Those connections are important in teaching your children how to act because you are their first role models as well as like just be, being the change you want to see. I hate baby daddy, baby mama drama personally, so I try not to carry that with me. Like, I mean, I, yeah, I do have my own issues with my child's other parents. I do, but it's not no drama. It's not no beef. My child, we are both on the same page that my child comes first. And I think that's what, in this situation, that the all, that all parents, even my subscriber, need to keep in mind that if it doesn't affect your child, don't let it affect your day. Because at the end of the day, if your child is doing good, some things we can deal with after the fact. So I'm not going to send my child somewhere to be mistreated. So I wouldn't send my child to other baby mama house because she got a beef with my child, with me, with my son, dad. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't send my child over there. But I would not keep him from his other siblings. I would. We could go hang out, go to Dave and Buster's. We go out, do something. But like send you to someone's house who say they don't fuck with me, that's a no-go. No, no, no. Um, but I'm not going to tell nobody how to raise their kid, though. But always put your child first. I think that's very important. Please remember to be liking, commenting, subscribing. And um, any questions you have and want to send to me, let me know. Like, send them to all my social medias. They're always in the description. Um... I appreciate it. I appreciate getting to know y'all on a deeper level and y'all coming to me with your issues. Please, please, please keep it up, you guys. All this love I've been getting is phenomenal. I love it. Thank you.